In the next few videos, we will talk about using the liquify tools and let me tell you, there's quite a handful of them as you can see in the tools panel. But I promise to keep the videos short and share with you only the important stuff. The first tool we are going to explore is one of my favorite tools in Illustrator, which is called the Width Tool, and you might have seen me using it in my other classes, especially those on logo and flat design. The Width Tool has a default shortcut, which is the Shift plus W combination. What this tool does is it allows you to create strokes with variable widths. So what do I mean by that? I got an illustration of a cat right here, and what I would like to change about it is the cat's whiskers. I want to make them thicker on one end and thinner on the other. I think it will be a great example of um, the width tool primary function. I'm going to make sure that the width tool is selected and maybe let me bring the whiskers a bit in front so you can see everything better. Now I will click on the right end of the whisker and drag a bit up. As you can see, by doing so, I am changing the width of the whisker, but only on one end, the other end stays intact. And note that the result is still a live effect, so if I change my mind, I can go back to the stroke and drag by one of the ends of the thicker part of the whisker to adjust its width, and to make it thicker or thinner. We can also adjust only one side of the stroke we made wider, and we can do it by holding down the ALT key, or option if you're on a Mac, and clicking on one end of the whisker, like so. And I can make one side thicker, or I can make it thinner. And if you don't want to use the ALT key, or option on a Mac, you can simply double-click on the width point to get this dialog box. And in here, you can adjust sides of the stroke separately, or simultaneously. If you need more precision with the width of the part of a certain stroke, this method would be a better way to go. So in the next video, we will talk about saving your width profile for later, so keep watching.